Yo, what's up, hustlers? Welcome to the Morning Hustlers. If this is your first time joining me, I'm Greg Santos, and I help young entrepreneurs smash their goals and connect with winners so they can live life on their own terms. So today's about productivity. Today's about squeezing the most you possibly can out of your day, and a great way to do that is through waking up earlier, through waking up at five o'clock in the morning. How does it sound to you? Some of you are like, I don't wanna do that. Some of you are like, I would love to do that, right? It's kind of split. Uh, if you're anything like me, I wanted to wake up early for many, many years because you, get, you can get a workout in earlier, there's so much peace, you can, get, you can start your day, get more, have more productivity earlier in the day, and for a long time, I tried and I failed. I tried and I failed. I tried and I failed. I go to the gym for at five o'clock in the morning for a week, convinced that this was finally the time where I'm gonna get it together, and then I'd fall off for months. And it got to the point where one time I was actually driving, I was listening to Joe Rogan's podcast, and he had an amazing guest on there, Chris Ryan, and he just came out with the book called Civilized to Death. And in that book, or in the interview, Chris Ryan says that, you know, we admire people like Jocko Willink and other people who are able to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and we look at them and are so impressed by what they can do, but not everybody's built to do that. And I will never forget, I remember making the decision in my mind like, oh, that I'm not one of those people. I would love to be one of those people, but I'm not. Funny thing is, today, I wake up at 3.50 in the morning every single day to start my day, and I do it, and it's actually very easy. So if you wanna learn how to do that, this is the video for you. So the thing about waking up early, there's so many benefits, right? And you know, you can plan out your day, you can journal, you can meditate, you can exercise, you could stretch, you can sit in silence, you can visualize. There's so many amazing things you can do by waking up earlier, by getting a head start on the day and winning the day by 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And, and if you so please, you can take the rest of the day off because you front loaded all your most heavy lifting work in the morning. Now, the funny thing is it's like, it's not waking up that's the difficult part. As you might think, it's actually going to bed early. That is a challenging part. So. My life is revolved around making sure that I get to bed at 8.30 every single night. Now, there's two exceptions to this rule. Number one, I have a family emergency. Something crazy happens in my family and it requires me to stay up later. Okay, that's one exception. Second exception is I have something that, like a business deadline or I am doing a launch and I have to make sure that things are in order for, for something business related. I'm like, all right, I will sacrifice sleep for family and my business, but nothing else, okay? So this is something to be very, very, very firm with with yourself. You can't say, all right, I'm gonna go to bed at 8.30. Eight, you're on your phone, and then 8.30 comes, and then you're like, all right, 8.45, 8.45 for sure. 8.45 comes, all right, 8.50. 8.50 comes, all right, nine o'clock, nine o'clock for sure. Nine o'clock comes, all right, 9.15. And then you keep doing that. This one habit that allows me to wake up early I do my push-ups, I do my meditation, I do my journaling, I do my stretching, and I do my public speaking for my morning hustlers every day, all because I get a good night's rest because I go to sleep at 8.30 p.m. I sometimes vary it. If I wanna get eight hours of sleep, I'll, I'll go to sleep at 7.30. It's pretty crazy because you go to sleep at 7.30, the sun's still out, so make sure you have a sleep mask on still. But I revolve my entire life around that. I don't bend that at all. Independence Day in the, in the U.S. didn't I didn't stay up for fireworks. New Year's Eve didn't stay up to do the countdown. Christmas, look, I gotta go to bed. I have other things. I have bigger. I have other plans. I gotta make sure that I have a productive day. You might think, Greg, that's really crazy. Yes, if you want to be and you want to achieve excellence, you want to smash your goals. It's going to require you to be crazy. It's going to require you to, to deal with social pressure with family making fun of you. It's going to you're going to, have to deal with pressure of your friends saying, "What are you doing that for?" You're going to have to you're going to feel like you have to explain yourself. You're going to feel insecure. You're going to feel unsure. You're going to feel like you're like outcast, and you're going to feel weird. And that's all part of the journey for success. What do you care about more, how you look, or do you care more about living the life of your dreams? You can't have both. You really can't. So make that decision. Waking up earlier has been the single 
best thing that I've done for my productivity and helped me take my business to the next level. So if you're very serious about this, make sure you set a deadline 8.30 at the very latest, I am in my bed with my eyes closed and you will see, it, it takes a little bit of time, probably takes about two weeks to get used to that because you gotta think your body's getting used to a new schedule, but don't let up. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard to go to bed at 8.30 the first night, just do what you can, you're gonna toss and turn, it, it's not gonna be easy. Wake up early, you're gonna be tired. That's part of it, you have to, if you can stick to those first two weeks, you will have, you have crossed the hump that most people will never get through. If you can figure out a way to just get over that, I've been waking up at four o'clock in the morning for the last nine to 10 months, um, actually 11 months. So if I made the firm decision in my mind that I can't do this and now I am doing it, you can do it too and it starts with having a firm bedtime. Now, if you got something from this video, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button, I'm gonna be doing some more videos. I'm teaching you how to smash your goals, how to connect with winners so you can live life on your own terms. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.